Sophia. Welcome to Kate in the City. Today, through magic, I will turn eggshells and vinegar into calcium and water. Okay, it's not magic. It's chemistry. Well, why do you think I'm dressed like this? First get your eggshells, then get a pot filled with water and boil them for a few minutes to get any of the residual organic matter out of the inside. Once that's done, you can put them in a cup and crush them down. After you have them all crushed down into the cup, like this, you can take some distilled white vinegar and fill up the cup. In this chemical reaction, CO2 is pulled off of the calcium carbonate and releases into the atmosphere and you can see that in the way of these bubbles. And you're going to actually see this bubble for quite a long time. Now what you want to do is you just want to leave this be. In about a half an hour it will look like this and all you want to do is kind of just stir it around a little bit. As you can see all of this, it looks like foam, but it's actually bubbles of uh, carbon dioxide. From here you just want to leave this open and stir it up a couple of times a day. Three days later. Okay, now you can kind of see that the water has cleared up or the solution has cleared up. There's no more bubbles and I do still see some eggshell pieces but uh, it's mostly just the membrane left and there's this calcium deposit both on the cup and the chopstick that I used to stir it up because I kind of just left it in there like that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I have this little soil filter with a pretty small hole in it. I think that'll suffice. And I'm just going to set it on top of a styrofoam cup and I'm going to dump this in there so that I can catch all of the extra shells and the membrane of the eggs because we don't want that. I'm going to throw that aside. And so this is what we have. I'm going to actually take the chopstick and press a little bit of the more of the solution out of the top of this. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to take this concentrated calcium solution and we'll test the parts per million and we'll do a quick dilution so that we can Give it to a couple peppers that really need it over here. Okay, so here on the left we have our concentrated calcium. On the right we have just water. And I have my TDS meter, my parts per million reader. It's at zero. We're going to test the water first since that will be less concentrated. And it looks like 68. I hope you guys can see that. So I'm at about 68 parts per million just from my tap water that I leave out for 24 hours to dechlorinate because I do live in the city. And oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but this is running at, let me see if I can give you guys a good shot, 400 and 84 times 10 so that's 4070 wow right around 4800 parts per million all right so I'm gonna take this knowing that it's so concentrated and just put a little bit in there Maybe a little bit little, uh, more than that all right so just a few drops I'm going to add it to our cup of water. I'll give it a good stir. 
There we go. And let's go ahead and test this. See what our parts per million is for this dilution. Oh, it's looking at right about 400, 401. Yeah, 400 parts per million. That's pretty good to um, feed, you know, your soil or hydroponics plants with. Uh, so I think that that's how I'm going to be measuring it out is right around 400 parts per million. Okay, so from this cup, I just kind of poured it into this glass bottle. Um, I have tops that fit this to make a nice seal. And this is how I store the calcium. It's just nice and simple. Now, the whole reason I'm making this stuff is to be able to give to my plants that are experiencing calcium deficiency. I've never had much of an issue with it before in the past. This year, I am struggling with calcium deficiency. As you can see, this little pepper, his leaves look so weird. They're so crinkly. Um, this one is not quite as bad, um, but they're both uh, have calcium deficiencies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, and just to show you, this is how I bottom feed my plants. I just put some holes in the bottom. I'll take the diluted calcium that we just made, 400 parts per million. I'll put in about an inch of water on the bottom and you just stick your pepper in. Okay, and he's the one that's having the most amount of calcium deficiency and looking kind of the most sickly. So I definitely wanted to give him some calcium. This guy on the other hand, although he looks better, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed him pure water and I'm going to do an update in a couple of weeks and so we can see what kind of changes that feeding them the calcium has made. You guys let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this method of obtaining calcium in order to feed your plants? You know I'd really like to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you again for watching Kate in the City. I do hope you like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe 